Kevin Sandry. It's absolutely fantastic to have you here. It's warm in the hall. And we'll be able to get permission to so hopefully it will be as comfortable as possible through the time we've got together. I'd like to take the opportunity at the outset of the ceremony to congratulate you all, um, our prize winners um, in terms of S1 to S3 in the BGE. Whatever prize you have achieved that you hope to receive this afternoon, I'm certainly confident that you've earned it through your talent, through your hard work and your commitment. In some cases it may be through absolute determination um, to make sure you persisted through barriers and overcome some challenges along the way regardless of what that is for you, um, well done to every single one of you. Our focus for the prize giving ceremony revolves around the three fundamental principles that we talk about all the time for High School, and those are being ready, responsible and respectful. And these are also guided by our ambition, um, our value of being ambitious in everything that we do. So firstly, being ready is more than just showing up on time and keeping your homework, as I'm sure you know. It's about embracing every opportunity that comes your way and being prepared to face challenges head on. Throughout the year, many of you at different times have shown resilience, adaptability and determination to excel in various academic and extracurricular areas. You've shown us that readiness is not merely just a state of mind, it's not something you just do, it is a commitment to constant learning, to show you that you want to be prepared to grow, and to self-improvement. The skills that you've displayed and your willingness to embrace new ideas, tackle difficult tasks, and engage actively in life in the school will absolutely, in my mind, be no doubt to hear you as our next generation of your leaders. So well done and consistently remember about being ready at all times. The second of our key principles is responsibility. And that's an incredible <coughs> principle for your own personal development. You've taken ownership of your actions, your choices, demonstrating maturity and modeling positive behavior. Whether it be through your involvement in community projects, which I know many of you have been involved in, those may have been involved in caring for the environment, or the school environment, or the wider environment, or simply demonstrating our other values of kindness, inclusion, and support towards others. You have shown that you are responsible citizens. I have no doubt that your commitment to making a positive difference and consistently trying to do your best will create opportunities for you, but it will also improve relationships across the school, improve this and improve the school environment and ultimately our wider community environment. The impact of positive actions and what you choose to do, supported by positive thinking, will undoubtedly lead to further success. So think about that. Your actions, linked in with the way that you approach things, will absolutely deliver further success for you. And then the third of our key principles is that of respect. And respect I would view as the glue that holds the school community together. It's the understanding and appreciation of diversity, of difference that we have in our community, and the individual worth of every person within these walls, which is critically important. Our aim is to have a school that is fully rights-respecting and a rights-respecting community. And we must continue to aim towards that, creating an ethos and treating each other with kindness, compassion and understanding at all times. That's critically important. Your respect for your peers, as each and every one of you sit next to each other, for those who are not here today, for your teachers and staff is creating a positive atmosphere and allows all of us to thrive and to grow and to reach our full potential. Keep nurturing this culture of respect and it will be a powerful force that will allow us to be held together as a community because that's what we are. We are the VRFHS community and will help us all move forward and progress. Um, because together we're stronger as a unit as we go forward. Alongside these core three principles that we've spoken about and we hear about all the time in assemblies is our first value that happens to and that is the ambition, uh, the value of ambition. Ambition drives us to dream big, to set goals and to work tirelessly to achieve them. It's the fuel that moves us forward. It's the 
thing that propels us forward and encourages us to unlock our own full potential and to try and reach new heights by aiming high and being ambitious in everything that we do. You're here because you have shown us that you can be ambitious and you've taken the opportunities to achieve success. So keep on doing that. Remember that the path to success is paved with hard work, determination and a belief in your own abilities. Continue to cultivate an ambitious spirit and ask in everything that you do, don't just settle for second best, always be ambitious for yourself at all times. If you do that, I have absolutely no doubt you will achieve greatness in whatever lies ahead. So please continue to be ambitious in everything you do. It's important to recognise that success comes in various forms. Each of you has made significant strides towards academic success this session. It may be um, in sporting success, it may be through music or performance, artistically, or indeed just personally. But be proud of your accomplishments, whatever they are, and let them serve a stepping stone to even greater achievements as you move forward in your time throughout school. Again, I'd like to extend my congratulations to each and every one of you for your hard work, your dedication to being ready, responsible and being respectful. I am continue to appeal to you to have those core principles for everything that you do as you move forward. Your accomplishments are also a testament to the support you received, I'm sure, from your families, from the teachers and staff in the school and also the wider school community. So my thanks also go to those who supported you. But I'm thinking about thanks and also like to thank Ms. Gray um, and also Mr. Crow and Ms. Grant for um, pulling the whole prize giving together. It's not an easy thing as I know you are aware. So my thanks go to them um, in making sure you get this opportunity to be to recognise for your wonderful achievements and for the other many um, opportunities that these staff create through the course of the year um, to recognise your successes. So my thanks go to them as well. And finally, I'm now asked to just enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Enough for me just now. You've got a chance to come up and get the prizes just shortly. You've been fantastic listening, and I've asked you to continue to do that um, as you come up and watch others um, achieve their success and share that together. So, well done and thank you again for all your efforts. I'm now going to um, introduce Rory Patterson, who will now perform a musical piece on the piano.
huge thank you to Roy uh, to, 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 to step up and perform for your peers and I'm sure you have been that are absolutely brilliant. So well done Roy, thank you for your performance. I'd now like to invite our guest speakers for today, our senior captains for this session, Erwin and Harris, who will say a few words about the experience at Falkirk High School and perhaps a few words of wisdom for the future. Hi, I'm Ellen and I'm Alan. I'm the Gary Captain of the 2022 and 2023 Senior Management Team and I hope all of you have been invited to speak to today and to be part of the celebration of all the achievements. Previous years got to enjoy many events and awards that should perhaps be more practically supported. This included events at the Christmas dance in December, which was the first time we were all able to celebrate the <coughs> community, or the awards we enjoyed, often a highlight of the academic year. But as a result of the hard work we put in, and your ability to be ready, responsible, and respectful. But there are also other opportunities for you to get involved in within the school community, which maybe haven't quite made a return yet, such as sports day and school trips. Lucky for you to still have many years ahead of you where you would be able to gain these experiences and be advised to take the full advantage of them. Very much. It was these that made our time to come high school a great and unforgettable experience. And you got to take part in them and then you years of the We think it's a second time to give special thanks to all the staff who worked hard to get hard to get to that little money and you continue to work hard to take the best test for experience and we urge you to make this. We are also going to offer some advice based on our own personal experiences that can hopefully be able to you as we face new challenges and have new opportunities over the next few years. For those of you sitting in front of us, you might think that your first exam feels ages if not years away, something that is distant and unimportant to you. However, for us, we are able to look back on our time in classes over the past six years, we realise now that the skills and activities we are learning in S1 by the foundations of our exams, even all the way up to advanced time. However, this is maybe not in the way you might expect. For example, the mind maps could be laid down and made kind of pointless in the long run, but you're actually figuring out some of the techniques that are best suited to you without the stress of exams. With the benefit of hindsight, we can now see that having the room to try out different methods of work, well, was exactly what we need to help us be successful, and by putting in the work now, you're massively benefiting yourself in the future. There are also ways you can improve personally and think forward to your future outside of the classroom. There are lots of clubs and leadership opportunities on offer that you can be a part of even in the early stages of your school career. These include all sorts of activities from sports to computing or creative to social. There's something for everyone. These clubs are places you can build skills, make friends, and get involved in benefiting the school as a whole. Some even go beyond and benefit our local community like the equal change makers, by expecting school spirit or the charity community. All of these demonstrate your commitment and dedication to the school values, which is exactly what strengthens, strengthens the PGMT Leadership Academy for first capital applications, all of which strive to benefit our school community too. And our final piece of advice, not to sound like every other S6 before us, but you should really take everything you can out of the school. By the time you come to leave school, you might not look back on your time in class only, but you will appreciate all of the support and things you receive from the staff and your peers. This is a place where inevitably you will come into your own and develop your own opinions and you will figure out who you are. What we're trying to tell you is that you most every time here, because time flies and you want to look back and feel like you, you need to be managed at all. Hopefully you've taken something from this and continue the hard work and dedication you've put in for your time award today. You should be very proud of all your achievements and we hope that there are many more to come. Final congratulations to you all. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Erwin Harris, for returning today and performing a fantastic speech which will inspire many in the audience today. And hopefully, in a few years' time, there will be a couple of members of the audience today starting here doing a similar speech. It's now time for a further musical performance, another talented musician in the Falkirk High School community. Lucien is going to perform a piece for the electric guitar. So, Lucien, do you want to be able to perform?
promise you. Well done again. So now folks, we move on to the back of the ceremony where the focus is on you, the young people of Falkirk High School. As always, this ceremony continues to be a special day in the school calendar as we take the opportunity to recognise and celebrate the many achievements and successes of you all throughout this nation. We're passionate at Falkirk High School about people's success and celebrating success and we continue to strive for a school community where the celebration of success is central to our ethos. We hope you all take great pride in sharing your achievements today and we begin the ceremony with the Achievement Awards. These awards are based on the school's three key principles which are ready, responsible and respectful. And to gain an Achievement Award, pupils are nominated by school staff and must receive several nominations across the whole school to be recognised by either Platinum, Gold, Silver or Bronze Awards. Everyone receiving an Achievement Award should be very proud as the standard, as always, is very high. We're going to begin the ceremony today with the Achievement Awards in Campbell House and we'll start off in S1 with the Bronze Awards. Now folks, I recommend you probably leave your applause to the end if you've been clapped for a long time if you clap throughout it. So if you want to leave your applause to the end um, of the S1 Achievement Awards, okay? So, starting in S1, Bronze Awards for Campbell House, Kenzie Butt. <laughs> Roddy Campbell. Sophie Elder. Alyssa Forrest. Sam Fauna Ethan Holt Leah Logan Ruby McKenzie Harry Strathairn and Andrew Turnbull. Now moving on to the Silver Awards in Campbell House, the next one. Achieving Silver, Kimberly Hanna. Sophie McCallum. Finn Miller. Aaron and Wright. Receiving gold, Sky Beard. Jessica Bailey. Lily Cumming. Luke McFarlane. And Marcus McFarlane. And congratulations to the ace one Campbell Cooper receiving platinum awards, Arthur Thornton. Hannah Kea. Anna Green. And very good. Folks, a big round of applause for all our Now on to our S2, Campbell Bronze Awards. First of all, Alec Aikman. Eva Bailey.
Alice Gale. Jason Joyston. Eva King. Jack Mackey. Luca Schultz. Ryan Chatham. Vasily Vasitu. I received silver awards in the S2 Camera House. Amia Amia. Lola Cheatham. Sam Doherty. Zachary Finlayson. Poppy Green. Aaron Hogg. Joe Hogan. Riley McCaffrey. Ethan Bones McGregor. And Emma Williams. Now we go to the gold awards. Erin Brown. Lana Brown. Gabor Horvath. Holly McLaren. Ewan McCafferty. Charlotte Ritchie. Ryan Smith. Sophie Vandegraaff. And Keris Wilson. And finally, our Campbell is to partner partners, Neve Dolan. Macy Lawrence. And Harry Reese. Put a round of applause for our Campbell. I want to do our SP, Campbell Road Brothers, Team Bronze, Isaac Denham. Macy Gray. Colin Hardy. Summer Matthews. Lauren McCuggan. Alice McGee. Ryan McInnes. Enoch Olabaladi. Callum Patterson. Calvin Short. And Erin Storer. Now we want to uh, silver awards. Derek Allison. Abdullah Anwar. Ayla Cameron. Marin Khan. Anna Stoddard and Sophie Tommy. We see the Gold Award, Angus McMillan. And we see the Platinum Award, Morgan Ford.
Eva Gallica. Andrew Henderson. Katie Mars. Joseph Preston. And Corey Watson. Folks, my round of applause for our SME <laughs> We now progress to Cameron House, and again we'll start with S1, and we'll start with the Bronze Awards. This is the Bronze Award, Harry Keane. Evie McLeod. Lucas McMillan. Ayla Malcolm. Samuel Reed. Cole Sam. And Benjamin Thompson. Regina Silver Award, Stella Baird. Eve Buchanan. Ellen Cox. Frankie Gamba. Grace Gamba. Ewan Gow. Blair Hamilton, Lucia McCall, Natalie McMillan, Ross McPherson, Kelly Owen, Kieran Potter. Emma Price and Shura Pryor. You see the Gold Award, Zara Ali, Billy Campbell, Alex Davidson, Leah Donald. Artem Elisi, Elise Thompson, Robin Hutchison, Rory Marshall, Zanda Rankin, Leah Vishnika. And receiving platinum awards, Billy Greenhorn, Adam Kasha, Hannah McKenzie, Sharon Mann, Michael Mann, Rich Miller. And he will write. My great of course, for Cameron. Ali Patrick, 
Louis Russell. Ilya Shida. Ryan Stewart. And Zoe Ward. Is he the Gold Award? Macy Black. Jack Fletcher. Grace Jarvey. Grace Johnston. Aston Captain Vaughan. Sophie Captain Vaughan. Abby McTaggart. <coughs> Molly McLennan. <coughs> Rosa McKean. And Mara Racky. Now, the Black Awards, Misha Buchanan. Casey Forsyth. And Chloe Gardner. Again, by the way, of course, for the S2. Laura Lee Conroy, Carl Edwards, Daniel Gold, Liam Jenkins, Leah McLeod, Adam Murray. Shannon Patterson, Lilibet Porteous, and we see the Silver Awards, James Bryce, Emma Coleman, Murray Hall, Emily McKenzie, Marianne Malone, Emily Rankin, Robin Rexon, Neve Russell, Ola Talbot, Leon Tenney, and Zoe Webster. The Gold Award, Lewis Henderson, Nina Hutchison, Rebecca Price, and finally, let's be receiving a Platinum Award, Davis Catalan, and Holly McEwen. Hey folks, huge congratulations to all the camera <laughs> Next up, we have my associate with House, with Guy House, and S1 receiving Bronze Award, Jack Goodall. Logan Gordon. Benjamin McGregor. And Jane McMeekin. We see the Silver Awards, David Chapman, Sophie Cunningham, Mia Douglas, Eva Lewandowski, Tara Murray. Adrian Smith and Emma, Emma Smith
Now we're going to the older words. Isaac Ahmed. Ria Ali. Isabel Andre. Emily Old. Jimmy Black. Michael Brown. Brooke Lawless. Conor McDonald. Lennox McGill. Stephen Meldrum. David Shazaz Kamal. Ishel Shazari. Maxine Taylor. Christopher Travers. And Jimmy White. And we see the Platinum Awards. Rudy Jones. Lovie Robertson. And James Silco. Congratulations to all of our S1 Mackay Chief Award winners. Now on to S2, Bronze Award winners, Taylor Gordon. Kyle Patterson. Maggie Richardson. Eva Rothney, Catherine Weswick, and Eva Winchelow. You know the Silver Awards, Amelia Drea, Arnold Emini, Kaelin Munn, Lewis Munn, T.H. Pada and Amy Phillips. You see the Gold Awards, Peter Craig, Vanessa Ayanku, Matendu Munziwa, Jaden Nickel. Eva Patterson, Holly Bateman, Jessica Powell, Jessica Wayne, and Alfie Wastewater. And finally receiving platinum awards, Alexander Marchbank, Carl Nagel, Elvina Sarah, again, huge congratulations to our S2 Academy. He's on S3, he's in a bronze award, Ryan Robertson. He's in the silver award, Tyler Barr. Ewan Edmund. Daniel Ferguson, Eve Marley, and Archie Patterson. Receiving gold awards, Lewis Bell, Cara Bradbury. Ryan Finnegan, Bowie King, Keir Marshall, Keir McKinley, 
Pull it you up. Pull it back in. And John Oscar Walker. And we're sitting back on board, so you see Healy Bradbury. Ruby Hepburn. Emma Law. Alicia Hume Kelly. And Emma Silco. Again, huge congratulations to uh, Mackay and Grace. And from the way, we progress on to achieve awards for people at the Robertson House, starting with the Bronze Awards. And this one, Casey Allen. <coughs> Louis Anderson. Johnson, Robbie McCall, Ronnie Patterson, and Sarah Roberts. Congratulations to all the S1 Robertson. Billy Ryan, receiving silver awards, Emily Black, Sophie Craig, Ryan Gary, Aidan Gavin, Dylan Gregor Alton, Ellis McArthur, Ryan Pepper, and Claudia Scobie. You see the Gold Awards, Adam Farqua, and Jude Lyon. And we see the Platinum Awards, Bo Miller, and Ewan Scott. Congratulations to our S2 Achievement Award for the Awards. And finally, from the Achievement Awards, Robertson House 
Mantinestrius in a broken world will disappear. All about coffee. Jacob McDougall. Barry Finnegan. Neve Fife. Kia Rodin. And Evie Tullis. Machine Silver Awards, Ella Barkley. Sarah Kearney. Elliot McDonald. Lucien McMillan. Alfie Taylor. And Kia Wilson. She's won the awards, Amy Hughes. Michael Chisak. Alexander Milner. Kajika Moffat. Lucy Rogers. Madeline Russell and Tammy Williams. Put a little applause for the Robinson. Them. 
And it's a call out to continue to preserve these awards every year. The first award is for the patron of reading prize. And the winner this year's award has shown consistency throughout the year and loves to read. He has read over double the number of words than the next closest S1 pupil. The winner of the Patron of Reading Prize is Roddy Campbell. <laughs> the next prize recognises significant improvements made in relation to the development of literacy skills. When the winner arrived at Falkirk High School, he spoke no English and he's made exceptional progress in a very short space of time. The winner of the Closing the Gap for Improvements in Literacy Prize is Gabriel Mayutu. <laughs> Our next award is the Miss Clark Prize for Industry and Perseverance. This young man embodies the true values of ambition, kindness, supportiveness and inclusion. He treats everyone with the utmost respect and gives his best effort every day in school. He's also a smiling space for everyone to see, which is a positive impact on everyone around him. The winner of the Miss Clark Prize for Industry and Perseverance is Michael Mann. Our next two awards belong to the digital world. We of course know most of our lives now involve the use of digital tools to communicate on the internet, digital devices, smart devices and many others. I'm sure uh, you can see that I'm even using my own iPad this afternoon, which is making me slightly nervous, I must say, but we're trying to move on with the future and also see if the planet is sustainable. So no paper news today. All right? The winner of the Hopper Award for demonstrating excellence in com computing science is Emma Silko. <laughs> I'm introducing a new award for this year as the Alan Turing Award, which is the equivalent of the Hopper Award, that is to celebrate our young male with expertise in computing science. The winner of the Alan Turing Award for Computing Science is Lucien Miller. The next award is from a former head teacher of Falkirk High School, the Alex Easton Prize for Young People Reaching Their Potential. Mr Easton was a great believer in the theory of work hard and will achieve. And tonight's winner, this afternoon's winner, sorry, has certainly done so. After a challenge start at Falkirk High School and the odd error of judgment still keeping in, the winner has made positive progress having been engaged with all supports offered to him which in turn is allowing him to maximise his potential and become a valued member of our school community. Rumour has it, he's also a current rugby player. The winner of the Alex Easton Prize for young people reaching their potential is Leon McGregor. <laughs> Moving into the world of sport, we have our first award celebrating excellence in athletics. Today's winner does not train in athletics, he plays football, rugby and basketball, but is simply able to turn his hand to many different activities due to his natural talent and most definitely fulfills the Olympic motto of faster, higher, stronger. Winning gold in both the S3 and S4 100 meter and 200 meter finals and a bronze in the 4 times 100 relay at Falkirk Schools Athletics Championships at the end of May, the winner of the David L. Burt Memorial Trophy for Excellence in Athletics is Cameron Kerr. As we all know, this year has seen the Falkirk High School community have to fight to save their swimming pool. And having faced a tragic circumstance in the summer, we continue to explain continue to stress the importance of swimming, both in the curriculum and out with school. Swimming is a life skill and is potentially the most important skill we were taught in school. We are delighted 
that I'll probably be joking for now. And again, I encourage you to ensure you can all swim and engage in PE lessons and activities in the pool. The next award is the Janga Lester Trophy for a water-based activity. The winner of this award has made huge progress in the pool in this station. She chose swimming for wider achievement, but lacked confidence in the pool as she started to at high school. <coughs> her attitude to learn, improve and develop has been incredible this year, but she doesn't stop there. She also helps others around to improve and to gain confidence in the water. The winner of the Janga Lester Trophy for a water-based activity was Isha Shizabi. We now move on to the service awards, where young people are recognised for serving Dr. High School within or around the school community. Receiving Charity Ambassador Awards, Emma Silco. And Emily Rankin. Receiving Digital Leader Awards at S1, Benjamin Thompson. Max Anderson. Reese Miller. Jamie Black. Lewis Slater. Hamilton, Rory Patterson, Robbie McCall, Billy Campbell, and James Silco. And it's two. And a three Marley Mullen. <laughs> now we move on to our rights ambassadors who work with Mr. Grant on our rights respecting school work. And it's one, Ewan Gow. <laughs> Connor McDonald. <laughs> and Natalie McMillan. Now I want to the change makers, we will try to make a difference in the school and respect the sustainability. S1, Michael Mann. James Silco. And Summer Parra. And S3, Cara Bradley. Emma Silco. And Emily McKenzie. We move back to our race ambassador in S2, we now have Brandon McKinley. And now on to our final service awards, which are for members of our school's leadership academy, which was launched uh, a couple of years ago and extended into classroom activities, where several pupils are given the chance to develop leadership, communication, problem solving, and adaptability skills. The winners today have shown all of these growth in abundance and have a desire to call themselves young leaders and have encouraged as many as possible to get yourself involved in the activities of the Leadership Academy. So in S1, this is the Leadership Academy Award, Isa Ahmed. <laughs> Casey Allen. <laughs> Marcus 
Marshall Kipper. Robert Kipchak. Alex Dimitin. Frankie Gavana. Jake Jarton. Conor McDonald. Ali McIntosh. Harry Rodgers. Joshua Owens. Rudy Patterson. Samuel Reed. Lovey Robinson. Darren Shazad Kamal. Michelle Shazadi. James Silko. Cole Sim. Maxine Taylor. Christopher Travers. And Jamie Veach. <laughs> On to page two, Aidan Gavin. <laughs> Joe Hogan. <laughs> Vanessa Ayanku. <laughs> and Sophie Vandegraaf. <laughs> Lewis Bell. Davis Katana. <laughs> this is the SPL Awards for the host, Ava Gallica. <laughs> Andrew Henderson. <laughs> Judy Hepburn. <laughs> Nina Hutchinson. Kim Marshall, Neely McKinley, William Branson, John Oscar Walker, and Tony Watson. Now we go on to our final set of awards today. Sorry, we should have a final round of applause for all of our service awards and our very best awards. We now we go on to our final set of awards, and these are for our People Junior Management Team. The team have worked hard on several projects throughout the session, with the most notable being the return of our famous folk at high school, Mount Supper which they organised and hosted superbly. They are also currently working on an exciting project for SD pupils, which will capture the first few years at Falkirk High School. A dedicated and talented group of pupils, they have been a voice for the BGE pupils throughout this session. I'm proud to introduce the pupil junior management vice captains for session 22-23. Ella Bartley. Laura Lee Conroy. <laughs> Emma Moore. <laughs> Holly McEwen. <laughs> Emma Silko. Waddle. 
and John Oscar Walker. And finally, I'd really like to introduce our junior school captains of Station 22-23, who will receive a special award for the recognition of the role this session. Both have carried out the role fantastically throughout the session and have been excellent role models for our pupils to follow. Both captains embody the school values of ambition, kindness, supportiveness and inclusion. You should be very proud of the contribution they have made this session. Everyone, please welcome the junior school captains of session 22-23, Ruby Hepburn and Keir Marshall. It's a fantastic opportunity for all young people in the junior school to grab for pupils moving into A3. Make sure you check out the application form and try to get one of those back because they're an interview process and a team building exercise that we will do. Okay? That now concludes the awards for today. Congratulations. Don't need to go too far. Congratulations to all of the prize winners. I should be really proud of your achievements. I'm now going to invite Ruby and Kim back to the stage to give today's vote of thanks. Hello everyone, I'm Ruby. And I'm Kim, and we're the captains of BGMT. Before we start, we'd like to congratulate you all on receiving your awards. It may only seem small, but hopefully you understand this school really appreciates and values your hard work. This year, we have really transitioned out of the pandemic and the rules and regulations of which are given. And our event and school ship are back in full swing. We are so grateful for this. However, we understand that many young people at the school still feel the effects of the pandemic. They may be struggling with their mental health, communication, and many other issues as a result of COVID. All the high school's managed to adapt this year. Many support systems in place that age people should be in the United States to be better at all. The top of high school is changing in order to better ability to be able to become more than we can talk. As we said, this year has been amazing. So first, we would like to thank all of you for your effort and dedication. Next, we would like to thank all the teachers at Robert Kai for their continued support and expertise. We'd also like to thank the Jan Hush for keeping the school clean so as to the ladies of the country. Being in BGMT is an incredible opportunity for which we are both very thankful. The BGMT application process for new SPs is still open, and both of us would thoroughly recommend applying. It's a great opportunity and one for a lot of regret. We now have to thank all the people who helped us along our way in BGMT. The senior management team for listening to us and giving us great insight, advice, but also giving us the steering and helping us decide what we want to do in change. Miss Gray for organizing so many great events this year. Everything has been and looks amazing. It's unbelievable everything we've done. And finally, Miss Gobi, for your continued support. Now you are not sure what will be happening right now. We can't thank you enough. To end this, we'd like to thank the whole of the junior school here. You should all be so proud of yourself. You can help your head up high and you all deserve your award. Thank you so much for having for that. Ms. Grant and Ms. Gray for a fantastic organization. <laughs> and also to our superb pupil technical team who have been uh, filming and we can actually hear the lights, the sound and all the different aspects of the work. So, well done. Thank you. Thank you. It's been a privilege for me to introduce the final performance of the day. It's going to be the Falkirk High School Pipers to conclude the ceremony, and I'm sure you'll enjoy the performance. Welcome to the stage, the Falkirk High School Pipers.